thing that we're doing, we're installing a Victron Smart Shunt. And on the Dragonfly batteries, the the um, the diameter of the terminal on the Dragonfly battery is three eighths of an inch, which is the exact um, diameter of the bolts that are used with the Smart Shunt. So this can actually mount right on to the negative terminal of the battery, and then all of our uh, all the other negatives, like the main coach negative is connected to this end and I'm going to have another negative when I hook up the switch for his battery heater so I'll be sliding that on but I'm not going to tighten that for now until I see how everything's going to fit so now we are ready to put in the dragonfly the other dragonfly battery and uh, we'll see how it all fits. So I'll be back with that. All right, we got the battery in fine. Um, so our grounds are pushed back on the back wall. Our positives are um, pushed up here. I did have to move this wire out of the way, um, but that's actually gonna work better because now I can just twist it and connect it to the positive terminal like I need to. Um, so now we have the task of putting the jumpers um, across the battery. So positive to positive, negative to negative. And then, um, like I said, the coach positive goes on this positive, and I already have the coach negative on the opposite battery negative. So, um, and then I've got to hook up the, I made a little switch for his, um, battery heaters so that's going to be nice um, so we got to hook up those as well and don't let me forget to put your solar fuse back in oh and I do have to hook up the positive or the power cable for the um, uh, the shunt and here's a little that's the installation guy I don't think you need that Okay, so uh, we will get, get on with that, and we'll come back. Okay, so we got everything, we got everything connected now. I will just go ahead and do a few zip ties to tidy this up. But um, I've got the battery heaters. Uh, I've got the battery heaters hooked power for the battery heaters. I made a little switch so we can have it hooked. Um, uh, this is just double sided tape and when he wants the battery heaters he just flips it on and he has a little light so he knows it's on. And uh, so you want to, like I said, you want to turn this on whenever the outside temperature is going to be less than 35 because you don't want to uh, discharge or charge a lithium battery below freezing so whenever it's 35 degrees flip the battery heaters on and uh, they will use one amp per hour and I'm not sure if it's one amp from each battery if that's two amps you know I'm not really that familiar with Dragonfly um, but bottom line it's going to use one or two amps per hour to keep the batteries heated between 35 and 40 degrees. So that means when you're cold weather and that it will do that down to a temperature of minus four, I believe. Mm. Um, I know lithionics is minus four, so I don't, but I don't know what dragonfly is, but I'm, I'm guessing it's, it's got to be fairly similar. Um, so yeah, so I mean, so you can definitely cold weather camp with these batteries and, um, uh, the battery heaters will keep keep them uh, at a temperature where you can't damage them while you're camping and using them. Okay, so um, we have, like I said, we have both batteries connected in parallel, uh, black to black, red to red, and then we have the coach red cable from the mega fuse connected to one, uh, to the red positive terminal on one battery, and then we have the coach negative, which runs under here and connects to the uh, system side of the shunt um, 
which is the opposite negative, the negative from the other battery. So you connect to the negative of one battery and the positive of one battery to make your coach connection. Okay, and uh, we've got a little power cable here for the um, um, for the shunt, and you can't see it. You might be able to see it, but there's a little blue light flashing that tells you the shunt is working. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to go. I've got to go and zip tie. Okay, I've got to zip tie this. Um, negative cable below this lip so we can make sure this door is going to shut. So I'm just going to go through and zip tie all these cables to pull them flatter. Um, and then this, uh, this is this closed fine, so that will be fine. And uh, we will be done with our batteries and then we're going to move. Okay, so I've got everything zip tied. Uh, lid closes fine now. And we are going to do uh, the Victron Smart Shunt setup. All right, so you called up uh, the Victron Connect app. Is that it? Hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, so you've already gone. Have I, you I downloaded it? Oh, you've already gone through your. Um, did you put in your PIN number and all that? I don't. Okay, no. all right, so hit the Smart Shunt. What is it? Pair, yeah, pair, pair it. Okay, now you have to go through the update. Hit update on the bottom there. There we go. Okay, continue. All right, hit that smart shunt. Oh wait, is, is it, okay, yeah, hit that again. Hit smart shunt again. Okay, now go up to that um, cog, that little wheel up in the corner. Oh, oh. Uh, change your pin code. All right, like I said, what do you want? Six ones or, and do it again. And then say okay. Um, just say okay. Just hit no okay. Yeah. All right. Now hit that little cog up there at the top corner. Yeah. Now you got to do another update. <laughs> <laughs> hit update. Like that. Yeah. Update on the bottom. Oh. Uh, Enable. Oh, this is instant readout, and you definitely want this, so hit enable now. And hit update. That enable instant readout, what that does is it gives you a little, a little blip of data without actually having to open, open the, app. the app. So when you first open the, your Connect, your Victron Connect screen... Your smart shunt is going to show up, and then that new battery charger that we're going to um, put in, those will show up with a little bit of data. So you, that might be good enough. You don't even have to open them up. Okay. It's kind of handy, you know, because you get an at a glance without having to, you know, open each one up. Okay, continue. Yeah, see that little bit of data? Oh, your batteries are at 100%. Hmm. Okay, hit the smart shunt again. No, open it up. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> All right, so so these batteries that are at 100%. And like I said, these came out of a 2021 mm -hmm. Unity, so they are fairly new. Hit your little cog up there at the top. Now we'll do the settings. Okay, battery capacity. Yeah, hit set. 200 amp hours, that's okay, okay. And hit these three dots. You can go to the product info. Um, and you want to, you want to uh, enable instant readout. You wanna make sure that's enabled. And you can put a custom name. So in this case, I'm going to
Oh, it got cut off. So, that's okay. Um, so, now that took, and we'll go back, and we'll do the settings. Um, so, this is going to be for 200 amp hour. Um, so, we want 14.2 charge volts, discharge floor, 10%. Uh, tail current should be four. Oops. Okay, tail current four percent. Charge detection three minutes. The uh, expo X component factor should be 1.05, um, charge efficiency 99, current threshold 0.1, time to go 3 minutes, set to 100%. And then um, alarm, um, we can leave that, that's okay. Miscellaneous auxiliary input none, that's what we want. Um, so we're done with that. And this is what happens if you enable um, live data, then you get this snippet of battery information without even having to open the app. So that's good to enable live data as I showed you. Okay, so now we're done.